Today, we will cover many basic knots, such as the bowline, the sheet bend or becket bend, clove hitch, round turn with two half hitches, the stevedore knot, figure eight, and others. The first knot is the bowline. I'm going to explain how to tie it for left-handed and right-handed people. If you are right-handed, you want to take the line in your left hand. Take your right hand, place it forward, it's palm forward, make a turn. Make sure you have plenty of room to work here. Take it up through the hole that you created, around the standing end or working end, and there it is. The bitter end is on the inside. That's for a right-hander. If you're left-handed, you would hold the line in your right hand. Take your left hand, put your palm forward, reach in with your thumb, twist, creating the eye, taking the working end, bitter end here, the bitter end, come up through, around, back down, and pull. There it is with the bitter end on the inside for left-handed tires. The next knot that I will demonstrate is the sailor's bowline. It's created by forming a six in your working end of your line, feeding it through a standing rigging or shackle, bringing it down, come up through, go around the backside, down, and the pull or the tightening is here on the working end of the line. The next knot that I will demonstrate is the outside bowline. You create a slip knot. Take the bitter end through, pull it, pop, and if you notice, the bitter end is on the outside. The next knot that I will demonstrate is the French bowline or double bowline. You start out and you create one loop. You make another loop. You take the bitter end through. Take your bitter end down through the loop you created. And if you'll notice, the bowline and the two loops. One is adjustable, one is fixed. The next knot is the French bowline or double bowline. You want to create two loops, starting with one. Coming around, turn the eye, bring it back through itself, tighten it down. There is the French or double bowline. My next knot is a bowline on a bite with a tail. A bite in the line is any bend. So I want to get an equal distance. I want to tie a simple bowline on the bite of this line. So you take, rotate, make the hole, come around, You'll have two loops and you'll have a tail. This is a bowling on a bite with a tail. The next knot is the bowling on the bite without a tail. You create a bite equal distance of the line. You want to take and put an overhand knot, draw it up, bring the knot bite back, Pull the leading edges, and if you see the bowline that appears here, bowling on a bite without the tail. The next knot is the one-handed bowline around the waist. Leave about one inch of the bitter end. Place your hand, creating the line. Come around the standing end, Pop it back, one-handed bowling. The next knot that I'll demonstrate is the square knot or the reef knot. Take two bitter ends, take your left bitter end over top of the right, draw it, give yourself room, take your right end and go across the left, draw tightly. Both bitter ends must appear on the same side. The next knot that I will demonstrate is the sheet bend, or sometimes called the becket bend. It's used for joining lines of two different diameters. One of the key factors is you should always reeve 
the smaller diameter line through the bite of the larger line. Create a bite with the larger line. Leave yourself plenty of room to work. Come up through the bottom. Drop it over your finger. Reach under. Bring it through the loop that you created. And just pull gently. Sheet bend. The next knot that I would demonstrate is the round turn and two half hitches. Take your line with your bitter end. Give yourself enough room to work. You're going to create the one round turn. It gives you added strength. So you have the round turn. Then you're going to create the first half hitch. Then you come in the same direction and create the second hitch. Round turn with two half hitches. The next knot is the anchor bend. It is similar to a round turn with half hitches except with a few variations. You take the bitter end of one line, leaving yourself enough room to work. Take the bitter end through, creating one loop, creating the second loop. Bring your fingers in, bring the first half hitch around, draw it down, and then bring the second one around, and there it is. The next knot is the clove hitch. Give yourself enough room to working in from the bitter end. Drop it over the stanchion that, you, that you're tying to. Bring the line over top of that bite. Bring it around and go through the hole that you just created and draw. Modification of the clove hitch. You leave yourself plenty of room to work. You have one line crossing your palm up, one with your palm down. Turn them inboard, drop the line over, draw it tight. Another variation of the clove hitch is made by creating two eyes, dropping it one over the top, going in the same direction, and one underneath. Take the two eyes that you created, Drop over the stanchion or bollard and draw tight. Here is a demonstration on how to tie the clove hitch on a horizontal stanchion. Leaving yourself plenty of room to work. Take the bitter end, drop it over the stanchion, making the, creating one loop, dropping it over the other side. With your right hand, reach in, draw it, and there's your clove hitch. This is a demonstration of the figure eight knot. I will tie it right-handed and left-handed. Take the bitter end, hold it in your hand with your left hand. Take your right hand like you're pointing to you. Hey you, come here. Create a half a loop. Drop it. Figure eight. One more time. Hold it in your left hand. Put this on your finger. Draw your finger in, creating a loop, dropping it. The same way with your left hand. You're holding it this way. You're pointing to somebody. Hey, you, come here. Left-handed. Again, you're holding it. Half loop. Figure eight. 